And so we've come full circle. I led the original five companions on a quest to reclaim the Amulet of Kings. At the time, I told myself it was for the good of all Tamriel. I was wrong, and now all the world suffers for my hubris. Perhaps, but I wonder, will history repeat itself or rewrite itself? In truth, I fear using the amulet again. Its power is both great and terrible. It was a holy city in the first era, founded by Queen Alessia herself. It has since fallen into crumbling ruin. It is in the mountains of Calovia, the land of my youth. I have little memory of that time. My exposure... has come for us to enter the catacombs of Sancretor. Do not underestimate the dangers that await us. I have been through much, but this body is tougher than the great hoax of Valenwood. I go with neither hope nor fear. It is useless to guess at a future that has yet to be written. My Lord Varen will open a gateway to Sancretor. The amulet lies in a vault protected by powerful magic, a ward of Stendar, the god of justice and mercy. Portal is open. Go now. Return with the Amulet of Kings. You could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Tharn. Up, Tharn. Looking for an amulet, perhaps? In a Marco. How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every movement? Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Molag Vaal, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Bar. Fool! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! The Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines. You mean your ward of Stendar, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me. The Margo has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Menemarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. We may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. Sai, 
Are you well enough to continue? No fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. Through that gate lies the crypt of Hiram. We can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless. Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? The amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, sigh. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Ball from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child. You know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. Be forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Manimbaga. Friends, I... I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Yeah. I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I... I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Sets tears. 
I thought I could handle this. I have pushed my body much further than this. That voice, Lena Marco's voice, taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end. He never broke my will, but he broke something. I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the halls of torment only to give up now. We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite anxious to see you. to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. You certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? The second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. I do not recall its solution. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered.
dank corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a rift and brothel. It must feel very much like home to you, Titanborn. You mean a crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. It is much more pleasant in the summer months. Succeed. The amulet of kings will be mine. Soon you will know the extent of my power and bow before me. Through the power of the amulet of kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Manimarco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Manimarco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By all means, my old friends. Try and stop me.
the Vault of Kings. The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now stand in the casting circle and direct the ring of the doors to lift the ward. First step towards true immortality. Now witness my true power. Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood. Whoa! You think you can betray the Lord of brutality and domination without consequence? You will pay for your arrogance. You will writhe in agony for the rest of eternity. Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others.
It is done. The Hamlet of Kings is ours once again. Manamaka will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Mol I've not forgotten, Vestage. It is another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestage.